All right, welcome everyone. Thanks for taking the time uh, to be here. My name is Andrew Knightlick. I'm the founder and director of the Center for Executive Coaching. Uh, before we begin, I, I just want to make sure you can navigate our website. The, the reason we do these um, educational webinars is ultimately for those of you who are thinking about getting into executive coaching and getting certified as an executive coach to join our program. And so if, if you'll indulge me, I'd like to take just a few minutes to make sure you can um, uh, you can navigate our website and see where our programs are and so forth. Essentially, if you go to centerforexecutivecoaching.com and click get certified, you'll see a drop down box. And the place to start is where there's program comparisons, what sets us apart, an overview. Our core program includes everything we have except for 10 hours of mentor coaching and our seminar. So that's the place to start if you're not sure if you want the ICF. If you know you want the ICF, and that's what we'll cover today. You can join that. Um, I'm most interested in our three-day certification. We have a virtual certification, no travel required. It's three days. Our next one, as you can see on the screen, is February 6th, 7th, and 8th. And if you're listening to a recording and you missed that date, keep checking back. We always post our new dates. We have these every couple of months. What I like about the February one is it's generally the smallest group of the year. So it's a great opportunity to get some really personalized attention and you'll get half of your hours, half of the, well, really all of the live hours and half of the hours you need to apply to the ICF, not counting mentor coaching. So it's a really nice accelerated way to get our certification, to learn how to coach, to meet an amazing group of people, high-end professionals, and also to really accelerate your hours towards the International Coaching Federation. Okay, so again, I just want to make sure you can see where everything is. It's right there at Get Certified on our website. We also have the Board Certified Coach Program. If you have a master's degree, that's a different organization than the ICF. You do not need a master's degree to join our programs, but that particular certification uh, is, is really good for people who have a master's degree because you don't have to go through the ICF mentor coaching. That's included with all of our programs. You don't have to pay any more for training. Okay, so I wanted to make sure I showed you that. Uh, and again, the purpose of this is to uh, help you decide whether you want to join our program, as well as to try to demystify the coaching market and especially the International Coaching Federation and their designations. Okay, ask questions anytime you wish during the chat. If you're listening to a recording, please reach out anytime. I'd love to have a strategy session with you to see if it's a fit. All I ask is that you're serious about joining and you're serious about joining within the next couple of months. I've found that if people tell me they're going to start, you know, a year from now, they're usually not that serious and they almost never take action. Okay. All right. So let's get into it. Let me go to our presentation today. Everyone can see this on the screen, I hope. Let me know if you cannot. And again, thank you for taking the time to be here. We're going to do uh, today what we're going to do is uh, give you an overview of uh, the executive coaching marketplace and specifically whether executive coaching is right for you. Will you be successful as an executive coach or not? I've been doing this for about, uh, gosh, we incorporated in 2006. So uh, that's about 16, 17 years now. I have a good sense of who's going to make it as an executive coach. And so I want to share that with you. And then we get into the International Coaching Federation. Do you need an ICF designation or not? What is it? What's the easiest way to get one? Um, the ICF website is super confusing. At least that's what people tell me. It's really hard to navigate. And so I'm going to try today to make this really simple for you. I'm going to show you the easiest way to get an ICF designation. Uh, and we're going to make it really simple for you. And then uh, we're going to show you what sets the Center for Executive Coaching apart. All right, so that's the agenda today. I look forward to it. And again, I appreciate your time. Um, essentially, the Center for Executive Coaching specializes in executive coach training for high-end, already successful professionals. And we're a leader in this market. We've been training executive coaches around the world for just about two decades, and we're never going to be the biggest. My strategy is not to be the biggest. It's to be a boutique training firm so that you're a member ongoing, you get ongoing support, uh, and we're here to give you a complete solution so that you succeed. We're not just here to give you a certificate and say goodbye. We've trained coaches at some of the top organizations in the world. If you go to our website and look at the navigation up top and click testimonials and clients, 
you can see a long list of amazing organizations where our members have come from. And that will give you a sense of the caliber of participant we have, right? We've, we're working with major leadership advisory, consulting and search firms, top universities, as well as school districts, federal government, including the military, Silicon Valley technology companies, healthcare delivery systems, some of the largest logistics and transportation companies, and uh, the top financial services companies, among many others. Uh, our, our participants come to us with super strong backgrounds. They're usually highly educated, although a master's degree or even a college degree is not required. But those who don't have that do have a track record of leadership and experience. What sets us apart among the things you've just heard is that we're practical. Okay, we're not going to beat you over the head with theory. Everything we do is grounded in theory, but it's about results. We're here so that you get results for clients, so that you have satisfied and delighted clients and best practices, right? So we're not pushing a particular philosophy. There are some programs, for instance, that are all about the philosopher Heidegger. They call themselves ontological pra uh, coaching training schools. We're not that. We're using an eclectic approach to find the best way to help clients get results so that they have a significant impact in their organizations and you have a significant impact with them. Okay. That's what sets us apart. Nobody, uh, we're just very different in the market. We're not anywhere close to the life coach training schools. We're very different than the academic programs. And uh, our, our focus is on attracting great people who we know are going to be successful uh, and focusing on results, practical approaches and doing what the market demands. Um, here's how we relate to the ICF. And this is all new. Uh, the ICF recently went through a ton of changes. Um, if you're familiar with terms like ACTP and ACSTH, they, they're getting rid of all of those. And now what they have is level one and level two organizations. And we are both. And it's really important if you're going to join an executive coach training program that you join them, that one that is both. And here's why. Level one means all you need is 60 hours of training plus our mentor coaching and 100 hours of coaching experience, and you can get their ACC designation. That's their first of three designations that they have. I'll go into more depth in this shortly. Uh, in the past, if you got 60 hours and mentor coaching and 100 hours of coaching experience, you had to submit recordings to the ICF, and now you do not if you go through our program. And so that saves you four to six months. The ICF is super backed up and you don't want to submit performance evaluation recordings to them. It's really hard to do. You have to create transcripts and uh, the ICF is just swamped right now. Uh, with us, you just apply and uh, we give you a piece of paper that you can use to, you know, your, your certificate that says level one, you submit it to them and you can sit for their uh, assessment and be, uh, get your designation really quickly. The 100 hours of coaching experience, we make simple for you too. We have a whole list of fellow coaches who are members of the program who also need 100 hours of coaching experience. And the ICF lets you barter coaching to get that experience. So we make that simple. But we're also level two. Level two enables you to get both the ACC and the PCC with the ICF. And that just takes 125 hours of training along with the mentor coaching. Mentor coaching is a three-month process of uh, at least 10 hours of supervised coaching uh, experience that the ICF requires. So you could do level two with us and apply for the ACC with 100 hours. And then you could add the PCC later once you have another 400 hours of coaching experience. Or you could start with level one and get your 60 hours of training plus mentor coaching. And you're automatically in level two with us. You don't have to pay us more. You don't have to repeat mentor coaching as long as you get this done within three years. Uh, that's at least my understanding. And so you can jump right in. And Claire is asking, if you're already an ACC, can you go straight to level two? Yes, you can join our program. We can pull your hours in. You still have to do mentor coaching with us, uh, but uh, you could pull those previous mentor coaching hours in as part of your uh, training hours. And so you don't have to do extra training. It's, uh, it's not redundant. And we'll even give you a 10% discount for your previous training. So the point is with our program, because we're level one and level two, and this just happened in the new year. So this is the first time I'm announcing it. I'm super excited about it. It's now easier than ever before. 
The other thing that's easy is only half of your hours have to be live training or what they call synchronous hours. You could do half of your 60 hours at your pace by listening to the recordings in your member area, reading our textbook, reading other books on our reading list. And so for instance, if you come to our seminar, which is 30 hours of training, you've already completed your live training requirements, accepting mentor coaching. So everything's much simpler now than it used to be. Don't even get me started about how it was a year ago. So you now have the greatest flexibility and the easiest path to apply to the ICF when you join us. You don't have to endure sending recordings and waiting forever uh, for the ICF to get back to you. You can start with level one and then complete level two. You can go directly to level two. It's all included in one single price and it's all up to you. What we're most proud of though, is unlike other programs, we go way beyond the ICF requirements. We're about helping you succeed in the marketplace. Okay. And yes, you, you, uh, Claire, you do have to take the new, uh, the ICF has rolled out a new knowledge assessment and you will have to take that for level two. Okay. So how we really like to introduce ourselves, I'd say is two ways. Let me tell you about myself and you can read. I mean, the real way I like to introduce ourselves is with results, right? This is a program about getting results. Here you can see four testimonials with some of the results that our graduates got. In this case, these are external coaches. We have uh, equivalent testimonials from people who are internal coaches. And in fact, we're already on our third cohort with a number of large organizations training their uh, internal coaches. Okay. But, you know, I started as a management consultant. I got out of business school. I was, a, I did a couple of things, but then I was a management consultant for the bulk of my career before I became a coach. And what I noticed was clients at the highest levels already knew the answers, right? And, and, and what do they say about consultants? We're really good about at reading other people's watches. And so at a certain point, I asked clients, where do you really see the value in working with us and with me? And what they said was, you know, I, I have a feeling, you know, I'm, I'm not as analytical as you. I don't, I don't uh, slice the onion as thoroughly as you do, but I already know generally what you're going to tell us. Where I need help is in making it happen, is in having someone without an agenda that has my interests in mind that I can talk to because there's, it's lonely here. There's lots of people gunning for my job who want to see my, me fail. And I really enjoy our conversations. And as I started hearing that more and more, I just said, you know what, I'm going to stop doing consulting and I'm just going to do the part that clients value, which is coaching. I left my firm. Uh, within a year, I was making more than I ever made at, uh, at my previous consulting firm. And uh, here I am. You see my home office here. I've been doing this for years. I love it. Uh, it's, just a, a, it's just a great life. I'm working with amazing people great clients, helping with them, them with their most pressing issues. I get to choose my clients. I choose my schedule. Uh, it's a very good living and it's wonderful. Okay. So let's talk about the executive and leadership coaching market. I'll come back to what's required for the ICF. I see some questions there. So, you know, just be patient and I'll answer those shortly. But I, I want to talk about what the market looks like. Um, it's, it's an amazing marketplace. Coaching continues to grow. Uh, before COVID, it was growing. During the pandemic, uh, there were a number of companies that were investing in coaching, particularly the ones doing particularly well, like technology companies during the pandemic. And after the pandemic, coaching is booming. And one of the reasons it's booming is you can be virtual. Uh, when I first started coaching, everyone wanted me to fly in or drive, and they don't need that anymore. Zoom and services like it have opened up the opportunity for you to be a national or international expert. Anyway, at this point in the marketplace, coaching is a proven approach to professional development. It continues to grow. Uh, the majority of Fortune 500 companies use it as a standard professional development tool for their managers and leaders. Uh, my market, by the way, is the middle market. I like small to mid-sized, growing, exciting companies. There are 14 million of them in the United States alone. And uh, they're investing in coaching significantly as well. Uh, return on investment studies, and you can find these at the International Coaching Federation. They've done some of these studies and they compile studies. Shows that when you look at 
the return on investment of coaching, it's anywhere from four to eight dollars returned. And when you combine training and coaching, you get a four times better result. And that makes sense, right? Coaching is about following up over time to make sure the learning was instilled. Whereas training, I've seen studies that show that people lose about 80% uh, of, of, of what they've learned. Uh, according to the ICF, global coaching revenue was just about $3 billion in 2019. And that's a 21% growth. Uh, rate from the last study that they did in 2015. Uh, Harvard Business Review shared that the annual USA, just United States spend on coaching is about a billion and growing at about five and a half percent annually. And this includes data during the recession and the pandemic. And there's a private study uh, that shows that 66% of the population, that's all people, not just corporate, not just organizations are very or somewhat aware of the field of coaching. Uh, there, you know, coaching is broad. You get to choose how you want to play when you get into executive coaching. You can coach leaders at all levels, right? C-suite, senior leaders. We have a bunch of people who love coaching up and coming talent and high potentials, first time managers, professionals in career transition and entrepreneurs and business owners, right? So you get to choose where do you feel comfortable? Where are you credible? With whom do you like to work? And also coaching applies to all types of organizations, large, mid-sized and small, for-profits, non-profits. The federal government is investing big time in coaching, including the military. We train a lot of coaches in the military, state and local government, educational institutions. I just did a training for a group of coaches to principals in one of the uh, USA's largest metropolitan school districts. And it was just absolutely wonderful to work with these folks. They were all former successful principals and now they're coaching other principals and solo professionals. So you really get to choose. And you get to choose the situations where you wanna work. And our program has toolkits that show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so uh, Thomas is asking where the toolkits are. In your member area, should you join us, you'll receive over a thousand pages of toolkits to coach clients through their most pressing challenges. So you'll be ready to go and ready to have long-term relationships with clients. At the same time, it's not bad to specialize in a couple and be seen as the expert in a few, whether it's general professional development, communication and influence, eliminating a blind spot that might derail somebody's career. That's really big in like technology and clinical types of organizations where you have brilliant people who sometimes have sharp elbows helping to shift perceptions and limiting beliefs without getting into therapy, resolving conflict. Uh, employee engagement is a huge issue right now. As you know, if you've been reading the business press, we have wonderful tools to coach leaders at the top of the organization, as well as managers to improve engagement and discretionary effort from employees. Leading teams, it was asked whether we have team coaching. Yes, we have a great module on team coaching. That's been some bread and butter of my own work. We have some great toolkits and approaches to coaching teams, navigating change, planning strategy, right? Strategy used to be in the domain of consultants. Uh, and we're seeing a lot of our coaches win engagements and beat out consultants because clients want more of a coaching slash facilitative approach. And we show you how to do that. Success in a new role, creating a high-performing culture, culture change, developing a pipeline of leaders, and the biggest one these days, overcoming overwhelm. We have about 30 toolkits. This is just an example. You can coach leaders through any number of these. Um, of the last five coaching engagements I have in my own practice, three were all about success in a new role. So that's a big topic now too. There's also unlimited niche niches, right? Executive coaching is not a niche. Some coaching schools are pretty superficial and quite frankly, vapid in calling that a niche. It's not. Within executive coaching, you're gonna pick a niche uh, things like working with technology, scientific and clinical leaders. That's a great niche. Professional service firms, again, success in a new role. Owners of growing business as well as family businesses. Financial services is seeing a lot of uh, investment in coaching. Nonprofits, education, military leaders, returning military personnel, teams, high potentials, change initiatives. 
We work with you to help you find your niche, the place where you can be the go-to professional. And there's a variety of models. You don't have to build a coaching firm, right? We have people who just want to be solo professional first, full-time. Uh, some who want to be part-time external coach, like a lot of people who want their encore career, their retirement. Uh, think about maybe I'll coach half time and do other things that I love the other half of my time. So we got a lot of part-timers or side gigs, I guess they call them as well for people who are fully employed. Uh, we see full-time internal coaches or people who use coaching as part of their larger strategic HR role. Again, the side business while working full-time. That's how I started, right? Before I left my consulting firm, I wanted to prove that I could go full-time on my own. And so I spent every spare moment, every paid time off day, every vacation day for a year, well, for six months, trying to get clients and prove that I could do it. Uh, we have people who want to build a firm with employees and contractors. Their goal is to have like a 10-figure business. Some are doing that quite successfully. Some people want to subcontract for a larger coaching broker or be a contractor for a large coaching firm. And some just want to use coaching as part of what you do, part of your suite of offerings. Maybe you're a consultant, trainer, facilitator, speaker, writer. You're leaving money on the table if coaching isn't part of what you do. So as you can see, coaching and the coaching market is super diverse, super flexible. You get to choose how you want to play. It's really wonderful. Let's just talk about whether you'd be a good coach or not. It's pretty simple to know. Uh, to me, coaching is a passion, right? You're a good coach if over your career, people seem to come to you for mentoring, coaching, advice, developing others. And, and you find that to be among the most rewarding things that you've done in your career. So for a lot of people who join us, they tell us, you know, people just naturally come to them for guidance, coaching, and support. Or when they look at their career, the part they've enjoyed most or the part they want to isolate is helping people be their best, helping people move to that next level. Uh, if that's the case for you, you're probably going to be a great coach. The second thing I look for is what I'm going to call verbal agility, right? When you're coaching someone, you're in the moment. And so that means you have to be really good at listening, not coming with a forced agenda not letting your wheel spin when the client's talking. You have to just listen to the client and de demonstrate skill then with asking questions, making observations, having a dialogue based on where the client wants to go, where they're at, what they're saying and what they're not saying. In other words, you're very good at collaboration and dialogue. So that's the second thing we look for. And the third thing that I think is really important and underemphasized in the market is I think you should have something that already makes you credible. We'll teach you how to coach, right? That's our job. I can teach you how to coach. I promise you that. To be successful, I think it's also important that you have something, something that makes you credible. It could be some sort of track record of leadership and achievement, expertise in a relevant field. We have psychologists, physicians, attorneys, elite athletes. We get a couple of coaches from sports leagues like the NBA, NFL. We get people with PhDs and masters, although again, that's not required. Um, I learned this from Harvard Business School. I once asked a Harvard Business School professor, what really sets your school apart? And his answer shocked me. He said, you know, it's, it's not necessarily our research. It's not necessarily our faculty. What we're really good at is we find great people, people with a spark, that we know will be successful. And then when they get our degree and they're successful and people ask where they went to school, they say Harvard Business School. I think that's a brilliant strategy. It's also a lot more fun to work with high end professionals and people who are successful. So if you consider yourself to be somebody who's been uh, successful, who has a track record, who's credible, uh, you might be perfect for our program compared to other programs that are much larger and basically take uh, anyone. We move at a fast pace as a result. But anyway, take a moment and assess that and think about where you're at. Passion for developing other people to be their best, verbal agility, and some sort of credibility, some sort of track record. You're already successful. Part of that too is that coaching is a privilege, 
right? You earn the right to coach. Uh, and so I think that's important. Okay, I wanna get into the International Coaching Federation at this point. Um, are there any questions so far though, be not related to the ICF? And, uh, and then we'll move to this. You can type those into the chat if there are. And uh, I don't see anything coming. So I'm gonna continue. So the ICF is the world's largest professional association for coaches. And what they've done is a great job advocating for the coaching profession. They've also done a great job with social proof. In other words, marketing their designations to become the best known standard. They call themselves the gold standard in the market. And they provide three designations for coaches. The first is the ACC, which is associate coaching credential. The second is the PCC, which is the professional coaching credential. And the third is the MCC, the master coaching credential. Most people get the ACC or the PCC. The MCC, I'm not going to talk about here. That's generally uh, for those who want to be mentor coaches. You, you really need 2000 coaching hours. You can work towards this. We have people in our program who are working towards it. But step one, get your ACC and or PCC. As I said before, the ACC requires 60 training hours. Half of those training hours must be synchronous or live. We have 12 hours of classes every week. You can pick and choose. We teach in many modules. So you, you're not stuck to a rigid, flexible, uh, a rigid schedule like other programs make you do. You get to choose. You go at your pace. You choose the classes you want to attend. We give you a curriculum. It's really easy. The other 30 hours, you can either attend more live classes or you can get into our member area. We have tons of videos, lots of things to read, and you'll get the other 30 hours that way. You also need 10 hours of mentor coaching. Uh, the ICF audits our mentor coaching, and that way you don't have to submit recordings to them. It's a three-month process per ICF rules. And in that process, you're going to work with no more than nine other coaches to prove that you can coach to the ICF core competency. The PCC, which you can get, you could start with the ACC and just add more training hours and more coaching hours, but that requires 125 training hours, including the mentor coaching. Once again, half of those 125 hours must be synchronous. You need 500 hours of coaching experience. You cannot start counting your coaching experience until you join a program like ours. And again, if you join our three-day seminar, you're already there for your ACC in terms of your live training hours. You only need 30 and the seminar gets you just about that. So that's the real advantage of our seminar. In addition, you get our certification, certified executive coach right after, and you're gonna work with a great group of people. You can start with the ACC and just get additional training hours to upgrade to the PCC. Each time you do one of these, you have to take the ICF's knowledge assessment but if you do the mentor coaching with us, you really just need to do it once with the ACC and PCC, as long as it's within a couple of years, okay? So here's the thing with the ICF though. Oh, but you know, again, we're level one and level two. Level one is the ACC, level two is the ACC and PCC. So again, when you join our program for just one price, you don't have to pay us more, you get ACC and PCC opportunity, potential, okay? It's the most flexible program out there for you. The thing with the ICF is there's at least 50,000 coaches worldwide who have an ICF designation. So if you're going to join a program, join a program that's going to help you set yourself apart, not based on the piece of paper you get, but with the tools, with the marketing support, with the one-on-one -on -one personalized support, we're going to do all of that. Okay. Uh, the mentor coaching is included in our ICF program, right? If you go to our website and select our ICF program, Doreen, uh, per your question in the chat, mentor coaching is included. That's what we provide. Um, so it's not an additional cost when, you're, when you join our ICF program. Now, there's another credentialing organization that you might want to consider, especially if you have a master's degree or higher. Again, I want to emphasize you do not need a master's degree to join our program, but there's an organization called the Center for Credentialing 
and education. And they offer a certification that's included. We give you the training for this in all of our programs, no extra cost. You just have to pay them a few hundred dollars and sit for their exam as you will for the ICF. It's called the Board Certified Coach Certification. I love that name. I wish the ICF had just done one certification and called it that, right? Board certification, that's like physicians are board certified. This group uh, does board certifications for psychologists, social workers, coaches. You need a master's degree and you only need 60 hours of training. And it, they don't specify whether it's in-person, you know, live, synchronous or not. You don't need the mentor coaching. You do need 30 hours of coaching experience. And you can gather that even before you join our training. Uh, lawyers count. Lawyers count. Doctors count. Uh, uh, you know, MDs count. All of those count as a master's degree. You only need 30 hours of training if your master's happens to be in psychology or counseling. And we make it easy. You apply. You put us down as your verifier. And we verify you. And then you can sit for their exam. So that's just the second option. Yep, an MBA counts as well. That's a wonderful option. It, it's never going to be as well known as the ICF. They don't have chapters. They're not a advocacy group for coaches. But I love the name. It's great for marketing. So do you need an ICF designation or not? This is the big question. Here's my answer, okay? First of all, if you aren't sure, just wait right? Our program is modular. You start with our core program. It's not a basic program. It gives you everything we have. It costs $4,900 right now, although we haven't raised our prices in seven years. And I think you're aware of the inflation situation. So a, a price increase is in the works. But for $4,900, you get everything we have. You can add the ICF later for $2,500 more, which is exactly the same price that you would pay now, $7,500 or $7,350 if you get the ICF program. You just pay the difference. So you don't have to worry about obsessing. It's not a die on the vine decision right now. Let the market tell you. Add it later if you're not sure. You don't have to stress over that decision because we consider you in our ICF program anyway. Everything you do in our program counts towards the ICF. You're just missing the mentor coaching module. And you can add that for $2,500 more anytime. Having said that, here are the types of professionals who will want an ICF designation, okay? If you're going to be a pure coach, right, all you're going to do is coach. Like I coach, consult, facilitate. But if you're going to be a pure coach, go through human resources, and you want to target the larger, more formal organizations, you probably want an ICF designation, right? HR cares about it in large organizations. If you're working in a sector that cares a lot about credentials like healthcare, higher education, and the federal government, you'll want the ICF, right? You want that credential. If you live in a country with a culture that's more formal, Canada, for instance, is more formal than the United States. Europe tends to be more formal than the United States. You're going to want the ICF. And many of you just feel better about having a third party designation. I always think about the Wizard of Oz when the wizard gives the scarecrow a diploma and suddenly the scarecrow has confidence and thinks he's smart, right? There, that's a natural human trait. And if you're in that category, you'll like the ICF. Uh, the ICF has done research that they've shared that suggests that coaches with ICF designations tend to earn more. If you plan on working with the vast majority of organizations and where I work and where the biggest market is, small or mid-sized organizations, you probably don't need the ICF. Uh, if I could be candid with you, I have had about a thousand coaches ask me if I have an ICF designation. And I do. I have a PCC. I have had zero clients ask me. I want to repeat, zero, not one client has ever asked me if an, I have an ICF designation, okay? And part of the reason is that second bullet you see there. I position myself for the best opportunities. That is, I, I market to actual decision makers. I'll always involve HR when appropriate, but I go for the C-suite. I go for people with bigger budgets, like consulting budgets, as opposed to professional de development budgets. And I position myself as a trusted advisor who solves problems. And that's what I'm going to teach you to do as well. 
Uh, there's lots of ways to market. We have lots of strategies. One of them that we'll teach you is the way I do it, if you like to use that. And so nobody asks me about the ICF, and I get myself into a pool of much bigger budgets with much faster decision makers, okay? If in doubt, again, our program lets you start without that added $2,500 cost. So you can accumulate your live training hours. You can accumulate your coaching experience hours. Yes, we help you get the experience you need. We match you with other coaches uh, to Max's question in the chat. And you can add the final piece later. Just know it takes time, right? The ICF mentor coaching takes three months and it usually takes a month and a half to two months to get into it because we want people to have a base before they join. But just let the market tell you, okay? So this is super important. We've covered what the ICF designations are and whether you need one or not, the bottom line being, don't worry about it, right? If you're passionate about being a coach, get into a program, you can add the ICF later. But if you're sure you want the ICF, you can add it now. It's really that simple, okay? Let's go through the requirements in more depth. I wanna make sure you're clear on these. Are there, uh, let me take a minute though. Are there any other questions? I think I've answered most of the questions that have come through the chat. Uh, by the way, I hope you're finding this informative. My goal is that you sign up with our program, reach out anytime for a strategy session. Okay. And ideally, I hope you'll sign up for the February 6th through 8th three day virtual intensive that we have. You'll be certified within a month, which is pretty good. So the ACC is the first designation the ICF has. You need 60 hours of live training. You also need 10 hours of ICF mentor coaching. That's level one. When you're done with that, we give you a certificate that says you completed this level one training. You just give that to the ICF. No recordings are required, okay? And remember that half of your 60 hours can be self-study. That means if you take our seminar or you could join our distance learning too, we have plenty of live classes, you'll be ready really quickly. This also gives you the, a really easy path to get the PCC later, right? You just take the rest of the training. We don't charge you more. What we've decided to do is say, look, you want the ICF, you can have the ICF. We're not gonna charge more for level two. You get level one, level two, maximum flexibility. And we do this because we see that people change their mind over time. We just wanna keep it simple. You have maximum flexibility with us. Okay, uh, Kevin says the core program, right? That's our distance learning program says two to four months. That's to get our certification. Right, We offer you our certified executive coach certification. You can get that in three ways, either complete mentor coaching as part of your ICF program. You can submit some recordings that we'll review or you can attend our seminar. Um, so the two to four months is for those who tend to submit recordings. Uh, we want one recording a week to review with practice in between. And so you know, with, by the time people are ready to do that, two to four months is that standard deviation of the bell curve for 67% of people. So that's right. It's driven by your time. We have really busy professionals who join our program. So you get to decide how much time you put in. Okay. You can also, to get your ACC, and this is how people did it before we were level one, is people would get all 125 hours of training plus mentor coaching, and we'd give you the level two certificate. And you can use level two and apply for your ACC when you have 100 hours of coaching experience. And then you can upgrade once you complete the training and get more coaching experience hours to equal 500, you upgrade to the PCC. You don't pay us anything more. In addition to the training hours, the ACC and PCC require a certain amount of coaching experience hours, right? So there's two buckets, training hours and experience hours. With the ACC, you need 100 hours of coaching experience. Because bartering with other coaches counts as paid hours, we match you up with other coaches in the program. You need at least eight clients. So if you match up with eight, uh, seven other coaches and each commit to coaching each other for about 10 hours, you'll have the paid hours you need. The other 30 hours can be pro bono. Okay, and then when you apply to the ICF, you'll take their exam. They have a new knowledge assessment. Um, we've had people take it and we have a ton of notes and resources for you to help you prepare for that. And of course, our mentor coaching covers their core competencies and ethics. Okay. 
Uh, Thomas says of the asynchronous hours up to 25 can be reading. How do you get the other 37 hours? Well, we have recordings of all our classes and we have educational webinars in your member area. So it's really easy to get the other hours that you need, or you can just join additional live classes. Okay. So again, I think our program is the most flexible on the market. If you read reviews that are out there, they say we really are the program for high end professionals. Max wants to know more about the mentor coaching. So let me explain that. We have a dedicated mentor coaching team. Okay. These are highly skilled coaches who are experts in the ICF pure way of coaching. And when you join our ICF program, you're going to be in a cohort of no more than 10 coaches. So nine other coaches, and you're going to have a mentor coach. There will be four classes of about 90 minutes over three months where you're each going to coach each other. And the mentor coach is, ha, has been trained in the ICF competencies and whether or not you're demonstrating those. You're also going to do some one-on-one, -on -one, well, really one-on-two -on -two sessions with the mentor where you'll bring a fellow member of your cohort, or you can bring a colleague and you'll coach them. And the mentor coach will give you some great advice and constructive feedback and note how often you demonstrated the ICF competencies. And so at the end of that, you will complete mentor coaching and uh, the ICF will know that you can coach to their standards. All right. A couple other questions I see. The BCC is included in all of our programs. That's that board certified coach. So it's $4,900. It's part of our core program. And we do have a train the trainer program post certification, but that's by application only, right? Step one is you got to get in our program. We, we have certain people in certain countries already who are our representatives and our faculty members. But if you're an internal coach, it's a great way to efficiently train other people in your uh, organization because it costs less when you train them than when we do. So we can talk about that after you join the program. Good, thanks. So let's go to the PCC. Now the PCC is where our level two comes into play. Level two means you complete 125 hours of live training. I'm sorry, that's actually not true. 125 hours of training of which half of these hours must be uh, synchronous and up to half can be asynchronous. And this includes the 10 hours of ICF mentor coaching, right? If you already did it when you got our level one, uh, you don't have to do it again. There's some sort of time limit there, but uh, essentially you don't have to repeat your mentor coaching. In addition, you're gonna need 500 coaching experience hours. Uh, these can be paid, you know, 70% have to be paid or barter. And so this is why many start with the ACC first. You just need 100 coaching experience hours uh, and then you can upgrade, okay? The level two path, formerly called the ACTP, is the most efficient way to complete your PCC, right? All you have to do, we give you a certificate. All you do is send that into the ICF. You don't need to do this lengthy uh, performance evaluation process by the ICF, okay? And again, we help you prepare for the ICF knowledge assessment exam. So that's it. If you think you need an ICF, I promise you we're going to be the most efficient program, the most straightforward. Uh, there's tons of support. We haven't lost one yet, as long as you're willing to do the work. Okay. So again, what sets us apart? We're level one and level two. You have the greatest flexibility, the easiest path to apply to the ICF. And as I'm going to show you in a moment, we go way beyond the requirements of the ICF designations. This is super important. Okay, don't just go for an ICF designation to get a piece of paper. Like I have a Harvard MBA, okay? I can't just walk into a company with my Harvard MBA and say, here's my Harvard MBA, hire me. And if that's true for a Harvard MBA, it's definitely true for your ICF designation. You can't just walk into a company and say, here's my ICF designation, hire me. You have to have something more. And that's what I want to get into now. Uh, Laurie asked, so you don't need to submit tapes for the PCC if you have a level two certificate. Yes, that's exactly right. That's the advantage of a level two when you want to go for the PCC. All right. And our next, uh, yeah. Um, let's keep going. Okay. So here's how you get the live training hours. All right, we have live webinars every single week. We have a curriculum. So Thomas, I think you're already in our program. And yeah, our live webinar schedule is up. 
to date. Uh, just so you know, if you go into our member area, we have um, a tab called Program Logistics. On the left, there's a link called Key Documents. And if you click that, you'll see our updated curriculum for 2023. And in fact, this is a great time to join because we're starting uh, new cycles. Briefly, we have four cycles of classes. I teach one of them. Three other faculty members teach the other three. I teach our virtual seminars. Okay, so if you want to work with me, you should come to our virtual seminar. Uh, our cycle one class, I teach. We have three great faculty members who are seasoned coaches who teach. So we have 12 hours of classes weekly. They're all via Zoom. They're all highly interactive. You're going to see demonstrations. You're going to practice. We're going to have case studies, discussion. You choose how many to attend. You can join anytime we go around in a circle. We teach different coaching situations and scenarios. Each class is different. Each stands on its own. Again, maximum flexibility. We talked about the mentor coaching, okay? It's in parallel. It takes place over three months. It's about four meetings with a cohort of no more than 10, plus some practice and supervised coaching. If you want to really accelerate your time, take our seminar. As I discussed, that can get you up to 30 hours live training, half of what you need for the ACC. You're already there. That's with three days plus three optional follow-ups. Our next one, February 6th through 8th, it's virtual, no travel required. Okay. Tracking is simple. We have a spreadsheet here that actually tells you if you have the right percentage of synchronous and asynchronous hours. We just give you a code at the beginning and end of each class so we know you were there. It's really simple. Um, I'm, uh, there's a question, what's the cost of the virtual seminar? I'm going to say what it is now, but with hesitancy because we're raising our prices and I'm worried about people people who are listening to the recording. You're just going to have to check our website. Currently, it's $73.50 or 10 payments of $750. Okay, and that's going to go up soon. So let me explain why we're different, okay? Every ICF program is gonna teach you the ICF core competencies. The good ones are gonna give you a cohort with whom to practice coaching. Not all of them do that. They're all gonna give you training hours towards your ICF designation. They're all gonna do the required mentor coaching. That's not enough to succeed today, okay? Uh, to me, I think of the ICF competencies and trainings as sort of like the you know, when, when you got your driver's license and you had to take the required classes, it doesn't mean you're a great driver or a race car driver, okay? We want you to be on the far right of the bell curve, okay? Our goal for members, we want members who want to be in the top 5% of coaches worldwide, if not the top 1%. That's what we want. We want you to have that aspiration, okay? We want you to be able to deliver unmatched value for your clients. I there's so many coaches out there who work with clients and I love them because I replace them a lot, but they get these executives and leaders cringing, rolling their eyes with their jargon, their new age talk, their pseudoscience. I don't want you to be like that. The market is demanding. You need to get measurable results for your clients. We're going to show you how to do that. And most importantly, we want you to be confident, excited, energized, and passionate about what you do. We want you to love your life. And uh, doing something you love is a great way to do that, okay? That's our goal for our members. And we're not messing around with that, okay? So here's how we do it. One, there's, there's, everything's grounded in theory, but we're giving you real-life coaching cases and data, right? I coach clients. I use my experiences as case studies. I've worked with uh, coaching companies uh, that are some of the top leadership advisory firms in the world. I have case studies from them. Uh, we have tremendous amounts of real world stuff, actual client 360 verbal reviews, real off the shelf assessments, executed coaching contracts, true coaching plans, examples of coaching review documents. That means when HR and sponsors say, we want to see how you're doing. I give you a template for that. And we have real coaching that you're going to practice with Again, because we attract great people, they have executive level issues you can coach them on. We also have case studies based on actual engagements, some that have gone well, some that haven't. And we deconstruct those and look at what could have been done differently. Okay, you're not going to get this level of real life coaching case studies. Again, because I came out of a business school that uses the case study method, I know its power and we've incorporated that here. 
Two, no other program is going to give you a set of situational coaching toolkits and methodologies. Okay. These have been proven in 32 countries around the world with coaches. Uh, a couple of them have actually had comparisons, control groups, where the organization has worked with me on some of these toolkits and other coaches and compared that to employees who didn't get our toolkits. And they've seen statistical improvements, particularly in improving employee engagement. They're focused on the top challenges clients have. You can use them immediately. Any one of them could be a business in a box for you or an instant program you roll out. They also are great sources for you to give talks, write articles, and ultimately develop your own intellectual property and establish you as a credible expert. You don't want to be a fly-by-night coach where the client says, what's it like to work with you? And you say, well, I'm really intuitive. I listen well. I ask great questions. That's, that's not going to work. And that's what other coach training programs teach. Everything we do is grounded in best practices from eclectic fields. And we're going to cover the key conversations you need to have with clients in different situations for the most robust, deep, and thorough discussions. I've given you examples already of what our toolkits are. If you go to our website, there's a video that gives you a tour of our member area. I can also set up a Zoom call with you if you'd like and give you that tour so you can see for yourself. Three, you, if you're going to be an external coach, and frankly, if you're an internal coach, you have to position yourself strongly. We have, I guarantee you, money back guarantee, the best marketing support in the industry. Okay, there's a whole section in your member area with what we call business development intensives. We show you everything from how to position yourself, how to close engagements without coming across as a tacky salesperson, how to choose the best niche for you, how to write compelling marketing messages that establish you as an expert, the best ways to get visible, online and old school marketing, how to extend engagements and get a client for the long term. And there's about 100 pages of business development guides, including sample proposals, when to write a proposal, when not to, information about pricing. And I'm here anytime you want. One-on-one -on -one support. We can get on the phone and talk through whatever you want. We can go back and forth by email. I'm often giving feedback on people's LinkedIn profiles, websites, and marketing messages. I get calls a lot about prospective clients, sticky client situations. Not just me, but other faculty too. We're happy to do it. It's part of the program. I typically get back to you within one business day. Sometimes people are amazed that I'll get back to you within 10 minutes, okay? I take that as my most important role is enabling your success. We have amazing participants. Again, if you go to our website and click testimonials and clients, you can see examples of where our members come from. You can see it on the screen as well. The types of people we tend to attract, I won't bore you by reading all of these bullets, but hopefully you can see that we get current retired executives, highly educated professionals, returned military leaders, just people from all walks of life, but they're successful and they're passionate about helping others be even better. Um, one of the great things about this program, like people often say, can you guarantee me I'll make a half a million dollars a year? And the answer is, of course not, right? This is a certification program. Um, I think we provide better content than any kind of franchise that's out there. But really, the reason you want to do this is because you want to do it. And our program is going to open new doors for you. Right? We're going to help you be a trusted strategic advisor with your clients, whether you're an internal or external coach. And we're going to show you how to get mo multiple openings to attract clients based on your style, your interest. For instance, I'm a super introvert. So there's certain things that I like to do and that work for me. But coaching, assessments, facilitation, training, you can do all of this. We're also going to show you how to create passive income if you want, by writing books, speaking, hiring other coaches under you. And worst case, this is just going to help you open new doors in your career. Learning to coach will help you be a better leader. It will help you get more from your team. It will help you have more informal versus formal influence. It's just a really powerful thing to know how to do. Okay. Jareen is asking whether we talk about assessments. We have a whole survey course on assessments. You'll even get to take one of uh, the, the best assessments out there for free. 
and have a debrief on that so you can see how uh, a top tier executive coach uses data with clients. There's a question about how these credentials are viewed in the UK. Uh, again, we have coaches in 32 countries. We're highly respected. And um, if you're very concerned about credentials, I really suggest you get the International Coaching Federation designation. And that's what we're here to help you get. Um, we give you personalized support for two years. My lawyers make me say that. Okay. In truth, and this is informal, I can't promise you this, but in truth, you have ongoing support. Okay. As long as I'm around, we say my life or yours, whichever comes first. I'm super healthy and I have a successor that uh, will take over the business as well. But you get personalized support. Okay. Whether it's about business development, a challenging coaching situation, closing an engagement. We have people from 10 years ago who get on our webinars for a refresher. We constantly update our content. In fact, 2023 is a year where we're rolling out new content. And, you know, for me, it's a matter of pride. I want to provide a complete solution for you, not just here's your certificate, goodbye, thank you, right? I love staying in touch with our members. That's what drives me. I want to see you do cool things, have great clients, and talk about that, okay? Here's what you receive, okay? Yeah, you get access to the member area. Again, our lawyers make us say two years, but you can always, you see the last bullet there. We're always happy to provide an extension uh, on request, okay? But you can download our tools. Everything's there for download, okay? Here's what you get when you join the program, right? You get our textbook, 400 pages plus. You get 12 hours of live webinars weekly. You choose which to attend. They're all recorded and put in a Dropbox so you can listen to them at your own pace. Each one stands on its own. We have an amazing member area, coaching contracts and forms, more importantly, when to write a proposal and when not to, right? We talked about assessments, business development intensive. If you run an internal coaching program or a part of one, we show you how to be credible with senior leaders. One-on-one -on -one support. We match you up with other members to practice coaching and get those experience hours. With our program, our core program, you get the certified executive coach, career coaching, and business coaching certification. You can also do an extra research report and you can name a specialty certification of your choosing. So we've had people do technology leadership coach, healthcare leadership coach, diversity and inclusion leadership coach, women's leadership coach, military leadership coach, and on and on. It's a really cool program and it helps you establish yourself as a credible expert in a particular field. People love this and it doesn't cost a penny more. It's included with all of our programs. Okay. And again, everything's flexible. If in doubt, start with our core distance learning program. That's $4,900. Again, the price is going up soon. If you know you want the ICF, you can get level one and two. That's $2,500 more or $7,350. You can pay in 10 monthly installments of $750. And for $2,500 more, you can add our seminar. So if you want our seminar and core program without the ICF, that's $7,350. If you want everything, it's 9,800, including the ICF. Our next seminar is coming up. And so again, the reason I do these is to encourage enrollment in our three-day seminar. It's a great experience. Everything includes the BCC if you have a master's degree or higher. All right, I wanna take questions at this point, but here's my ask for you. Take a look at our website, go to where it says get certified, look at the different programs, and just email me if you want a confirmed fit. You can register though right away if you'd like. And you can email me anytime. Okay. So let me take some questions here. Again, thank you all for your time. I'm going to take this off record um, just not to uh, go too long on the recording. Um, if you're listening to the recording, reach out anytime. And thank you for getting this far. Um, but uh, let me take this off record now.